Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to work out compound interest. Before we start the videos, of course, there's a PDF file versions on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First of all, we know that the compound interest formula is A is equal to P 1 plus R to the power of N. And P is the amount of money that we invest or the initial amount, if you like. And A is the final amount. R, of course, is the interest rate. And N is a period. So instead of writing A is equal to P 1 plus R to the power of N, we can also write like this. FV is equal to PV and 1 plus R to the power of N. It is exactly the same, okay? So FV is a future value, just like A. And PV is the present value, the initial value, if you like. R, of course, is the interest rate, and N is the number period. So let's just go through a couple examples. Example one. So Annabelle invests 2,500. That is the initial amount or the present value, PV, and compounded at the rate of 6% per year for eight years. So therefore, every year Annabelle gets an interest of 6%, okay? So that means R is 6%, 8 years, 8 years, so that means N is 8 because it's compounded yearly. And the question is asking for the future value. So first of all, we know that the future value, FV, is equal to present value, 1 plus R to the power of N. So therefore, we just substitute this value in. So the present value, is $2,500. And then one plus the interest rate, which is 6%. So 6% means six over 100. And N in this case is eight. So that's all. So now I just put that on a calculator. So I just go 2,500 brackets one plus six over 100. And I get out of this and close brackets and power of eight. So there you go. So this is the future value. So that is $3,984.62. This is the future value after eight years. Second one. So what is the present value of an investment that has a future value of $8,000. So let me just write this down here. So that is the future value. So future value is $8,000. And the period is five years. However, the interest rate is 3% per annum and compounded quarterly. So that means every year we get interest four times because quarterly means four, okay? Divide to four. So therefore, the interest rate this times now, 3% per year, but then it cut into four pieces because it's quarterly. So every quarter, we get an interest rate, okay? But not 3% because we need to divide to four. So therefore, we divide this by four. So that is 0.75% because we cut into four pieces. So 0 0.5, so 0 0.75, Another 0 0.75, so 0 0.75 and 0 0.75%. So add up to give me 3% in the entire year, okay? So that's what we get. Now with N, so one year we get interest of four times. So therefore five years, we get five times four, okay? So five times four, which is 20. Now we just put in the formula. So we know that the future value is equal to the present value, 1 plus R to the power of N. So the future value is $8,000. And the present value, this is what we need to work out. So PV and 1 plus the interest rate, which is 0.75% per quarter, okay? And then there are 20 quarters. So this is N, 20. So now let me just work out using calculator first. 
So now what I do, I just bracket 1 plus 0 0.75 over 100. And brackets power of 20. I just work this out first, okay? So now 1.161. So let me just write down to three decimal place first, 1.161 and PV, of course. And then this is 8,000. Then what I do, I get rid of this 1.161 by doing opposite operations. So I divide by 1.161 and I divide this by 1.161. So to cancel out. So therefore the present value is now I just go 8,000 divided by answer. That's all. So $6,889.52. So $6,889.52. So there you go. Next one. So what is the amount of interest Sarah earns when she invests $20,000 over a period of three years at 6% per annum, compounded half yearly. So the interest is the future value with minus the present value, okay? So first of all, we need to work out the future value first. So the period is three years. So N is equal to three, but then it's compound half yearly. So that, that means every half year, she gets interest. So one year, she get twice, okay? So therefore, three years, we times by two. So that is equal to six. And the interest rate, because of 6% per year, but then she get half yearly. So every half year, she get an interest. So therefore, one year, she get twice interest. So therefore, 6%, we need to cut into two or divide into two, because 3% and other 3% add up, give me 6% for the entire year. So I divide this by two. So that will give me 3%. So now I just plug these into the formula. So the future value is equal to the present value times one plus the interest rate power of N. So the future value, this is what we need to work out. So she put $20,000 in. That is the present value. One plus the interest rate, which is 3%. That means three over 100 and power of n. n is 6 because 3 years and she get interest twice a year. So therefore, 3 times 2 is 6. So now we just put that in the calculator. So I just go 20,000, 1 plus 3%, which is 3 over 100, or 3 divided by 100, if you like, and then power of 6. So there you go. So 23,000, $881.05. So that is equal to 23881.05. So now to work out the interest, so the difference between the future value and the present value. So that will give me the interest, okay? So I, the interest, because Sarah put this much money in the bank and she end up with this. So the difference is the interest. So I just go 23,881 dollars and five cents minus $20,000. So that would give me $3,881.05. That is the interest. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through them with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into this. So compound quarterly. So this means that for five years, so one year is compound four times. So therefore five years, so N, should be five times four. So that is 20. But then the interest rate is 6% per year, per annum in per year. But then it's compound quarterly, so that means the percentage must divide into four. 
So 6 divided by 4. So that will give me 1.5%. Because half of 6 is 3 and half again 1.5. Otherwise, just use calculator. So now, we just need to work that out. So the future value is equal to the present value 1 plus r to the power of n. Always start with the formulas, okay? So now the present value is $12,000. And then the interest rate is 1.5%. So 1.5 over 100, and which is power of n. n is 20. So now I just put this in the calculator. So I just go 12,000 bracket 1 plus 1 1.5 divided by 100 and brackets power of 20. So there you go. $16,162.26. So that is 16162.26. So that is the future value. To work out the interest is just the difference between the future value and the present value. So that is interest will give me 16162.26 we minus the present values that is $12,000. So that will give me $4,162.26. There you go. So part B. So this term is compound weekly. So this means n is equal to 1 year is compound 52 weeks. So that means 52 times. And then 5 years, so we just go 5 times that. So that will give me, so we just go 5 times 52. So 260. And for the r, because r is 6% per year, so 6%. Per annum, we divide to 52. So that will give me, so I just go 6 divided by 52. So 0 0.11538 and so on, right? So let me just store that in the memory A first. Answer, shift, store A. Because I'm going to use this number, okay? So I just write 115, we do. So 0 0.115%. So now I just work it out. So if the future value, okay, is equal to the present value, one plus r to the power of n. So that will give me, so the present value is 12,000. And one plus, so the interest rate is 0 0.115 over 100, now power of 260. So that will give me, so now I just put that on a calculator, so I just go 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, brackets, 1 plus. Now the interest rate, I store in memory A already. I go alpha A over 100 because it's percents. And then brackets, power of 260. There you go. So $16,195.50. 1. 6195.50. Now to work out the interest again, we just find the difference between the future value and the present value, okay? So interest is equal to the future value is 16195 and then we less the present value, which is twelve thousand dollars. So that will give me $4,195.50. So there you go. Last one. Please pause the video and try it yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through it with you. So first of all, we know that the future value is $8,000 over a period of six years. So then we need to work out the present value. So first of all, we know that it's compounded monthly. So that means N, six years. So therefore, one year is compound 12 times. So therefore, six years will compound 
12 times 6. So that is 72. And the interest rate R is 5.4% per year, per annum, mean per year. But then it's compound monthly. So therefore we must divide this by 12 because you get interest monthly. So every month you get interest. So therefore all together she gets 5.4% per year. So which is divided to 12. So that will give me. So I just go 5.4 divided by 12. So there you go. So that is 0.45% per month. Okay, just remember that. So now we know that the future value is equal to the present value times 1 plus the interest rate power of n. And the future value is $8,000. And the present value, that's what we need to work it out. And then 1 plus the interest rate, which is 0.45%. And then power of n, which is 72. Now, let me just work out 1 plus 4.5 over 100 power of 72 first. So I just go brackets 1 plus 0 0.45 divided by 100 and brackets power of 72. So the answer is 1.3816 and so on. Let me just write to three decimal places first, okay? So equal PV times 1.386. And that is $8,000. So what I do, I divide this by 1.386. And I divide this by 1.386. So that cancel out. So therefore, PV, the present value. So I just go 8,000 divided by the answer. So there you go. So $5,790.21. So $5,790.21. So therefore, there you go. I hope you got all of them correct. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.